A few years ago, when a person became sick, there was nobody to advise what to do, let alone provide treatment and medicine. Responding to the then government's call in 1998, a kind-hearted person of the area provided his land to set up a community clinic. This is how the people of this locality got a healthcare center. The story behind all 13,500 community clinics in the remote areas of the country is basically the same. Community clinics started their operation to render quality healthcare services, especially emergency care for mothers and newborns, to the doorsteps of the people. Presently, healthcare services are being provided at already established 12,400 clinics across the country. Community healthcare providers, CHCPs, have been recruited in each clinic in order to provide health services properly. At the same time, people are getting health services through the health care assistance and family welfare assistance. This has completely changed the health care scenario in rural Bangladesh. Each CHCP has been given three months training, of which six weeks were theoretical and six weeks were practical training. As a result, they can now provide quality services. Later on, they also received on-the-job trainings. From inaccessible hill and hour areas, to storm and tidal bore prone areas. No one is deprived of the healthcare services at these community clinics. The Honorable Prime Minister of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, recently called upon the people to receive the services of community clinics through voice call on cell phones. I call upon you to come and get the healthcare services. The community healthcare centre is dedicated to provide services to you. The number of service seekers is increasing from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. On an average, in each community clinic, 40 service seekers are receiving various services free of cost. Till date, they have received various services through more than 190 million visits. The then Honourable Minister for Health and Family Welfare of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Professor Dr. AFM Ruhul Haq, MP, patronised this programme. From the day Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina had given me the responsibility of the Health Ministry, my task was to take health care to the doorstep of the people. The idea of community clinics emerged from this concept. To my mind, Nothing can be more helpful than a community clinic to provide health care services to the masses. We have community clinics, union health centers, Upozala health centers, district hospitals, reputed medical colleges and specialized hospitals. Despite all these facilities, the people still have to go to the doctors for their basic health care, immunization, headaches, diarrhea, fever and everyday health-related problems. We have arranged these facilities at the community clinics. One can get his or her blood pressure and blood sugar checked at these clinics. Pregnant women can also check whether their child is properly growing up or not. They can also know about any complication. Therefore, we have succeeded in providing all sorts of routine health care at these community clinics. People's participation is the basic concept of these community clinics. Through these clinics, the healthcare services operation has been made successful. A community group comprising 13 to 17 persons has been formed in each service area. These groups are managing the clinics 
through an annual work plan. They also grow health awareness of the people of the locality. Besides, three 17-member community support groups have also been formed in each service area to increase people's participation. They are identifying pregnant mothers, newborns and critically ill people through social mapping. They are assisting people to go to the clinic from home and also to the critically ill people to reach higher level healthcare centers. The Honorable Prime Minister's Health, Family Welfare and Social Welfare Advisor, Professor Dr. Sayed Mudassar Ali, emphasized on the role of the people in the community clinic operation. Healthcare is a constitutional right. It's not any sympathy from the government. Government is bound to ensure healthcare services, but no one has shouldered this responsibility before. Father of the nation introduced Uposla health complexes and his daughter introduced community clinics. I would like to say she shouldered this constitutional responsibility perfectly for the people of the country. It's not a charity. We have to do this. It's worthwhile to mention that it has been structured in such a way that it won't matter which party is in power. It is important who would run these clinics. This way, there will be a paradigm shift in healthcare system and people's participation will be ensured. The Union Purishot Chairman in each clinic area, along with the members, monitors the management of the clinics and the progress of work every three months. They also inspect the clinics on a regular basis. This active participation of local self-government ensures continued healthcare services. As a one-stop service center, Services that the people are receiving from community clinics are Antenatal Care A and C and Postnatal Care B and C and also referral to emergency service points in case of complications. Provide health services and advice for the adolescents. Child vaccination as per the EPI schedule. Identification and referral of sudden paralysis or weakness of limbs in case of the children under 15 years of age. Providing vitamin A capsule supplementation to children of one to five years of age. Treatment of diarrheal diseases with oral saline and zinc tablet and if necessary referring to appropriate centers registration of newly married and pregnant women keeping record of expected date of delivery EDD and contacting them when the EDD draws near birth and death registration services inserting IUD and administering contraceptive injections to women willing to adopt these methods. Identification and counseling of the physical, mental, neurological, hearing or visually impaired patients and also referral if needed. Autism or other growth retardation cases are also given the mentioned services. All sorts of daily health care blood pressure measurement and diabetes, blood sugar level estimation, ensuring regular supply and distribution of the short-term, temporary, contraceptive methods at the centers. Apart from these, the people are also getting a guideline on how to prevent some diseases and lead a healthy life. 
mothers are getting necessary advice during their pregnancy. Individual healthcare and nutrition education is being imparted for child and maternal health care. Laptops have been provided to all community clinics with internet connection. The profiles of the service seekers are being stored through online database software. It would help a lot while providing accurate treatment and at the same time it would be possible to take steps in identifying the area-based disease profile. Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has been awarded the UN Millennium Development Goals MDG Award in 2010 for reducing the rate of child mortality in this country. The objective of the Community Clinic Project is to reduce maternal mortality to 143 for every 100,000 by the year 2015 and infant mortality rate to 48 in every 1,000 by the year 2015. Additional Secretary and Project Director RCHCIB Community Clinic Dr. Maktouma Nurkis is working hard to achieve this objective. MDG 4 and 5. MDG 4 and 5. MDG 4 addresses child mortality and 5 addresses maternal mortality. I believe we want to go beyond our MDG target earmarked in 2015 as we don't want to see a single child die during birth. It's natural that a woman will become a mother, but it is not acceptable that a woman would die during this natural process. Why would she die? I think a verbal autopsy needs to be done for every maternal death. We need to know the specific reason so that we can take steps to prevent such maternal death. Community clinics have been wiping away all health-related worries of the people in the remote areas and changing their lifestyle and quality of life. For dangerously sweet reward, learn how to collect honey. Unlearn. Give yourself the surprise you deserve. Yes, you always loved racing. Learn to race without wheels. Here, every home is a school of celebration. When the heart opens, you suddenly learn to accept the invitation of happiness in its fullest version. See how hope defeats all boundaries and how meaning of inner silence revealed in words.
spirit of freedom in the air. The father of nation, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, liberator of Bangladesh, rests here. has a story that embraces. Who else can tell you to love your language more? Feel the monsoon magic. You will learn the true warmth here. Here, life happens. Welcome to the School of Life. Admission going on. Welcome to beautiful Bangladesh. Bangladesh.